Hi everyone, this is Sally again with uh, Crafting Gal Sal. I should say AKA Crafting Gal Sal. Anyway, um, I have all these pretty orange papers out because I decided that I'm going to go ahead and start covering this little three envelope pocket letter that I started the other day. And um, um, here's one that's finished and ready to be sent out to my friend. So anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about how I get inspired and what colors and what papers I decide to use. And when I first walked into my crafting studio, I noticed um, the orange standing out. I keep my paper scraps in um, these nice accordion files. Um, this one is, of course, labored, labeled orange. And some of my favorite papers were sticking out from the top of it. So I pulled them out um, because I love orange and um, I just decided that I was in an orange mood. And this is the one that was sticking out. So that's the one that I thought, oh, I need to use this. And so then I just started picking out some other things from that particular file. Um, I love this one. It's a little damaged right here, but it's no problem because I can just cut it where I want to use it. Um, and I might use all of these. I might only use a few of these. I'm going to kind of look to see what goes well with the others and um, pick it according to the friend that I have in mind that I'm going to send this to. Oh, I also like this one that says laugh on it. So um, I'm going to get started and show you how I go about covering these little envelopes. So first, I'm going to tell you that everything doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I can't make things perfect, and that's why I love doing what I do, because um, I just do this stuff for fun. I, I do this just to make somebody happy, and I'm not looking for perfection. I'm going to try my best, um, as I always try to do my best. And that's all I, anybody could ask, I guess. So anyway, I'm going to do this the easy, easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy way like I tell my students. Um, I'm just going to start, um, I think I'll just start here. And I'm going to put some of this blue runner on the back of this envelope. And if you hear some crazy noises in here. I've got my two little doggies in here with me, Hilbert and Penny. They like to keep me company when I'm in my crafting room. So this one is almost run out, but you can get it to work um, just by kind of trying to pull, pull that glue up. Nope, that one's not going to work. See, it's not perfect, folks. All right. Get your glue on there, and then I'm going to just grab this paper and put it on as straight as I can. Just like that. And now, I'm just going to take my scissors and carefully cut along the edge of the envelope. And if you don't have the glue runner, you can use any kind of glue, really, that works best for you. Elmer's glue works well, um, glue sticks, yeah, anything like that will work. You just kind of have to experiment. So here's one part of the back that's covered. And I see a little bit here that didn't um, stick down very well. So I'll just take some of this art glitter glue. This is really great quick drying glue and it dries clear. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there. And hold it closed a little bit. Okay, and let's see, 
think I want to put some of this left paper on there. Take my glue runner again. I showed in an earlier video how to put these envelopes together so if you didn't catch that video you can see it on my blog um, you can also see it on my YouTube channel so um, it's there if you didn't weren't able to see how to actually put the envelopes together so again, that looks like I'm kind of putting it upside down, but that's okay. Because it really, I mean, however it ends up is going to be your top and your bottom and it doesn't really matter so much. So I'm going to just cut the excess off here. And you can get really fancy and you can use a paper trimmer and um, measure exactly how big the paper needs to be if you want to. Um, I just kind of like doing it this way because it makes it easy and it makes it fast. And I don't have to fool with the paper trimmer. So now I've got two sections done and I'll go ahead and put glue here. I do love these little runners but I use a lot of glue so they don't last real long for me. Now, which one do I want to put on? Um, that one's not going to be big enough, so I'll save that one for later. And I think I will do this one. as I can get it. And then grab my scissors and trim off the edge. So I hope you have had a wonderful day today. And I hope that this little video inspires you to start making some paper crafts. It's fun. It's as expensive as you want to get. Um, but as you can see, it can also, it also doesn't have to cost you a whole bunch of money to make something really pretty that you can give away to somebody that you love or a friend. And here's the back side of a new three envelope pocket letter. So I'm going to be covering these sections as well. Um, this time what I would do is I would, uh, I'll go ahead and do one. Um, I'm just going to put the glue as far as the edge of the opening to the envelope right there because I don't want to put, I don't want to glue this. I need to keep that open. I buy these little glue runners at our local um, craft store, which is Pat Catan's, um, and I get them pretty cheap. They're in they're in like a set of, I don't know, maybe six. So 
So now I'm going to be really careful just to go up right to the edge of the opening of the envelope. And you can see I went off the side and that way I can just trim right up to the edge of it. Flip it over and trim off my excess paper. Um, that's how you do it and I'm gonna finish the rest and then I'll make another video just showing how I'm gonna decorate it um, I'll be covering this side and that side and um, that'll be it and then I'll just get to stuff it and put some fun things in it so um, I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please subscribe to my YouTube channel um, check out my blog site uh, and my Facebook page and um, like this video, please, and we will see you the next time. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. Bye.